Peace. Or should I say, peace. <laughs> failure. What is the what is the purpose of failure? Um, I failed in the last two years. I failed more times, and I've gone through more painful failures than I ever had really in my whole life. Um, apart from high school, but that's another story. But for me, like, let me just give you a, a sample a taster. In 2018, um, the whole year, pretty much the whole year, my right shoulder was injured, like severely. Like every time I lifted my hand, my arm up like this, I was in severe pain. I couldn't bench, I couldn't, I couldn't do shoulder press, I couldn't do anything in the gym properly. And I couldn't work out really to get all the stress out that experience at work. So I gained weight and I started feeling really, really bad, and really depressed. And awful. 2018 was horrific. In, um, in 2018, I got a great job, you know, moved to my first ever flat, one bed flat. And then I went through a lot of insecurities, you know, with dating and all this stuff. And that, that, that was another failure, you know, going through that period of like approaching hundreds of women and, and failing. That was, that was one thing, that, another thing I experienced. And then if you remember this year, early 2019, I got um I got uh, let go from my job essentially sacked from my job um which is another failure I experienced and um so there's there's different things that were very painful and also no don't want to forget that in earlier this year I went to a car accident as well and um <clears throat> it didn't it didn't really hit me until um until like a few months ago the purpose of failure and and how it's actually helped me because um it's it's made me realize that failure is there to give you a sense of fearlessness because let me let me let me explain this another way when you're when you're young so I'm approaching my late twenties now but when you're in your mid twenties early early twenties you're very ambitious you want to achieve a lot and when you think about your goals, you get very excited. So let me give let me explain this. When you're metaphysically overexcited, you're actually less likely to achieve your goals because you're putting too much importance on your goals. Okay. So in your early twenties, you're very excited. There's too much importance on your goals because you're overexcited about them, and so you keep you keep <clears throat> you keep banging on trying to achieve the goals. You know, taking big steps to achieve the goals, but then you keep crashing, and do that you keep crashing because you're overexcited in your heart. And so you can't see the simple solutions to your goals because you just want to get there as fast as possible. So what happens is in life, you go through a lot of failures. Like I went through, like trying to get a new job in 2017, trying to get this the new job I moved into in 2018. That took a lot of failures. And it really, what it did is um, <clears throat> it made me start to not care because I realized I'm putting all this effort in I'm going through all these failures, you know, I try so hard and I go through all these failures and I realize, you know what, I don't give a shit anymore. I'm not going to put so much importance on it. I just don't care now because deep down inside, the reason why you're overexcited about those goals before is because you were scared of failing. You're scared of what happens if you fail. What does it mean to you? What does it mean to your self-esteem? So when you go through the failures, you know, you lose your job, you don't get promoted or you don't get that. Um, job you're trying to apply for you go to a car accident you fail with women you start to realize that you know what maybe there's a lesson in this there's a this is like a game and life is just trying to, to, to let you know that you've got to let it go <clears throat> and that is what I did um in you know after that car accident earlier this year I decided you know I'm going to let go of all these things um as I said women forget about them dating, I mean, sorry, trying so hard to get that job and, you know, trying, trying my hardest, I'm going to let go of it. I'm just going to let go of these pressures on me. And um, once I let go and I realized that they're not that important, I mean, they are important, but I realized the effort trying to get those goals is not, is not worth it, basically. That's when the things start happening. And that's when I realized that failure is there to reduce the importance metaphysically that you're putting on the goals because 
the importance that you're putting on the goals is really the fear of failure. The fear of bad things happening. One either want to get the goal or on your way to get the goal. But once you've been on those negative things, once you've experienced those negative failures, then you realise, you know what? It's not that scary anymore. And so the goal doesn't seem that big to you anymore. It doesn't seem that important to you because you've reduced the importance because you've, you've gone through the failures. And so you're like, okay, that's it. That's just another step. And so basically, as you reduce that importance, bang, it just happens. That's how I got this job I'm in now. You know, that's how I got the momentum on the goals, personal goals I have. That's how I got the momentum on it so much easier than I did in the last five years combined. You know, it's just small steps um, after going through failure and realizing that really it's just, failure is just there to reduce the importance of of, of the goals, that you, the yeah, reduce the importance you're putting on these goals. So if you're in your early 20s and you haven't been through those tough years, there's always tough years that you have to go through. If you haven't been through these tough years, um, just be, hmm, what's the best advice I could give you? I'll just say, just be aware that um, these tough years are not there to break you. These tough years are not there to make you get depressed and permanently distraught. These tough years are there to reduce the importance that you're putting on the goals or the things that you really want to achieve in life. Because once you go through the failure and you realize you, it doesn't scare you anymore, then things, then you realize that, you know what, it's simple. And you realize that there's simple ways to get to the goal. And then you achieve it just like that. And you let go of the things that you are putting, you know, attaching to the goal in terms of your self-esteem. And um, life will just flow much easier for you. So that's a simple message I want to give you guys. Failure is just there to reduce importance of the goals metaphysically. And when you reduce the importance because you've gone through the failure and you realize the failure is not scary because you survived and you're thriving, then you realize, well, the goals are not that important. I can achieve them easily. And so you achieve them just like that. Peace.